A spokesman for Fairview Memorial Hospital says his latest death raises the total to seven. Oh, come on. You're watching that again? There's been as many as 100 in Sorry. Hey. Are you okay? I just... This fire, I still can't believe it really happened. I mean, I just said another person died this afternoon. That makes seven. Well, if it makes you feel any better, they think they know who did it. Who? Well, it's just a rumor. But I hear they're looking at Porter Scavo. Porter? Why would they think it's him? I don't know. I guess there was a fight between him and the guy who owns the club. Now, I've known that kid since he was six years old, and I've always thought he was trouble. And trust me, I'm a really good judge of character. Who's that? Nobody. Just a kid at school. I lent him my bus pass. Oh. Listen, we need to talk. What's up? I have to ask you something. And it is very important that you tell me the truth. Okay. Did you set that fire at the nightclub? Before you answer, let me say that if you did, I promise your father and I will stand behind you and try and find some way out of this nightmare. But if you lie to me and I find out later that you killed those people, well, I will love you. That will never change, but I won't believe in you anymore. And if I don't believe in you. I can't help you. We have to tell each other the truth from here on out. Mom, I don't know who set the fire, but it wasn't me. <sighs> of course it wasn't. Of course. And we're gonna be okay. As long as you keep telling the truth. Everything's gonna be fine. Mom. There's one thing I lied about. What? When you walked in, I was leaving a message for Anne. Oh. She hasn't returned my calls, and the hospital said she checked out. Do you have any idea where she is? No, sweetie, I don't. 